What is going on Bolt Nation and welcome to today's video. I am Laserbolt and in today's video I'm going to teach you guys how to cheese or how to skip the jumping puzzle in the new pretty much new mission that we have available. So for those of you who don't know or haven't been keeping up with Destiny, there's a brand new mission that will unlock you, allow you to unlock the Whisper of Warm, which is primarily the Black Spindle from D1. And boy, is the gun really, really good. I have a video showing you guys exactly what you will need to do in order to complete this mission. So you guys definitely want to check that out if you guys don't know exactly how to do it. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to skip the jumping puzzle. It's going to be super, super easy. And one thing I want to recommend is the, the only been I've only been able to do it with two classes, which is a Titan and a, a Warlock. But I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. So first thing you want to do, of course, if you already got the Black Spindle or the Wisp, the, I'm just going to call it the Worm. If you already got the Worm, then you will need to go ahead and launch the Falling, which is the Whisper Heroic Mission. And you will click a to submit and that will launch you into the mission once you're in the mission you will then be able to do the jumping puzzle so i'm gonna give you a couple of pointers one thing that you're gonna need is of course you're gonna need a sword a sword is gonna be a requirement for you to do this because we are gonna sword swipe our way across this now if you're running on a warlock you're gonna want to do the dawn blade and you want to make sure that the dawn blade has the upper tree selected because it's gonna allow you to do the b dash and it's gonna let you get to the edge so that's going to be the way you're going to be doing with the Dawn Blade. Now remember, if you are a Warlock, you're going to have to wait till your super charges. A super takes between 2 to 3 minutes in order to charge. Now you're probably wondering, why do I want to waste 2 to 3 minutes to actually complete the jumping puzzle? A lot of people are having a hard time completing this jumping puzzle. So this is going to be an effective way for a Warlock to skip it and not have to worry about platforming if they're having issues. If you're not having any issues, then if you're a Warlock, you might want to do it the regular way. But if you are a Titan, this is when it, things become really helpful because with a Titan, you could skip the jumping puzzle right off the bat. If you're a Titan, you're going to want to have the Lion Rampant equipped. Plus, you're also going to want to have your sword. Now, remember that the Lion is going to allow you to you know, improve your jump ability and make you have more aerial movement. And this is going to let you get across the map fairly easy. Now, big shout out to my boy Lion Master Halo for providing this footage. As you see right here, it's going to be very crucial for you to learn how to uh, burst and how to swipe. So it's usually one burst, one swipe, one burst, one swipe. When you get closer to the edge, you're going to have to double burst. So do keep that in mind. One thing I do want to point out for you guys, though, you guys are going to want to have the Lions equipped as your exotic boots because this is going to allow you to have better aerial control and better aerial movement. Once you guys get to the portion of the map where you have to go through the little, the, like the little, thing a jinger you're going to want to sword swipe in case you missed it now for this part right here my biggest suggestion is if you're a warlock harder than titan make sure you guys are always pushing your thumbstick to the right hand side so you guys won't slide down without a problem after you guys get to the last part which is the part where you have the little boom thing of jingers you could either sword swipe or you could just platform platforming is not that hard on this one but sword swiping will get you across with that uh, a lot faster plus it will help you avoid any sniper that can shoot you from the back so do keep that in mind this is going to allow you to speed run it and the majority of the time that it takes to actually complete this run it's going to be between it's going to be like three minutes in order for you to get this completed so it's going to save you tons of time now remember if you are trying to get the chest there's not an effective way to get the chest because you're going to want to make sure you get all the chests as quickly not as quickly as you can but you want to make sure you get them and this is going to have you skip a couple of parts now if you guys don't know where all the chests are located within the map i have a video showing you guys where all the chest locations are at so you guys can definitely pick those up so i'll leave that in the description down below now this is the other section that will allow you to be able to skip if you go ahead when you jump out into the green pastures if you turn around and you look at the light bulb you're going to go through a little crevices once you're in the little crevice you're going to stick to the left all the way to the left until you see this light right here jump all the way down to the light make sure you warm in jump through the little platform that's right there make a left stay on the left hand side then go to right which is going to you know see a little let's your right Jump on down and you already made your way into the boss area. Super easy guys and very effective for you guys to complete this without a problem. I hope you guys did find this video helpful. If you did guys do me the huge favor by dropping a like sharing this video with your friends because it does help me out a lot. Don't forget guys if you want to stay up to date to everything Destiny 2 make sure you guys keep it locked on this channel and I will catch you guys on the next video.